you guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl dimples thank you guys for tuning in today and if you are new here hi hello welcome i am dimples and if you are a returning subscriber you already know what to do dbc gang um you guys i know it's been a minute um and i just had to chill out a little bit um, I'm coming to tell you guys that the 30 day vlogathon is over, which you guys already knew. Um, if you haven't seen the community post, I posted it, I want to say like 24 to 48 hours ago. Um, yeah, you guys. So if you're new here, I did a 30 day, um, vlogathon for May, which means I vlogged every single day for 30 days and what that did was as you can see i am a small youtuber you guys um i'm trying to grow my channel i'm trying to get more into engaging more and getting letting the youtube algorithm you know um actually find my exact place in youtube because the algorithm comes and goes um i want to get in a little bit into that but a little later i'm just um letting you guys know um i did this 30 day vlogathon with the intentions of growing my channel. And so far, so good, you guys. So let's get into it. So those were my intentions were to grow my channel. So I just came up with this 30 day vlogathon because I told myself this year, I'm gonna be more consistent this year. I'm going to make sure I do the necessary steps to grow and expand my channel and all my social media platforms at that. So those were one of my goals this year and so far so good you guys i have so on my youtube channel you guys as you can see i am a beauty lifestyle vlogger you guys i do makeup tutorials hair tutorials daily vlogs weekly vlogs you know and um let me tell you guys like me doing like waking up every day to vlog and make sure that i have something to put out was oh, guys like i'm glad that i did this 30 day vlog a thon to test myself and to push myself to the next level you guys because before i was just posting like twice a week and then i had times like um like before where um i'll be going through things in my personal life and i won't post at all like i'll be going like six seven months to a year almost you know what i'm saying so i was very inconsistent with youtube for a very 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 long time so i decided this year you know what this year my word anything that i do anything that i want to accomplish anything that i need anything you know that i want or you know i have to be consistent i have to put in the work i have to put in the effort i have to put have that ambition i have to have that drive to get to where i'm trying to go you guys so i this 30-day vlogathon for me you guys was very like oh, it was days where I, like it was towards the end though towards the end of the month i was just in this mood of Oh, I don't want to get up and do this vlog. Oh, I don't want to post. Oh, I don't want to edit. Like, I was getting into my moods, like, towards the ending because I had, um, I was very ambitious. I was very driven, you know. I was thriving at the beginning. I was like, this is what I'm going to do. So, I was pushing myself to the, but when it got towards the end, y'all, I was like, this is a lot. Especially if you don't plan ahead. I had to find my rhythm, you guys. I had to work smarter not harder you guys and i was like i see what it takes now to be an influencer i see what it takes now to be a youtuber and create content and provide quality content every single day to stay relevant and to give your fans to give your subscriber to give your community if you will to give your community content something to inspire about, something to, you know, watch, something to tune in, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, I put myself in, you know, in the big influencers and the big YouTuber shoes because this is a big shoe to fill. Like, y'all, I was not really with the, <laughs> I was not really with it. Like, I was like, 
they gonna have to just, you know, but you know, I'm the person like, I stand on everything that I say and like, I'm a woman of my word. And if I say I'm gonna do a 30 day vlogathon, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be consistent. I'm gonna get up every day, do what I have to do. I'm gonna edit. I don't care if it's one, two, three, four, five in the morning. And like, I just had to find my rhythm, you guys. I found my rhythm, but I still like was falling back into my little ways, my little feels. And I was like, man, I'm not vlogging today. Man, I'm not picking up this camera today. Man, I'm not doing this today. I do not wanna upload a video today. But I just kept that in my head. And what I did was I'll go look at my statistics, my um, analytics, I mean, analytics, whatever, whatever the word is. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I went and looked at my stats, y'all. And I was like, well, I am growing. I am growing. Um, I am receiving a lot of engagement, you guys. And doing YouTube as a small and as a small YouTuber, you guys, it's very, very hard because no one knows you, so you have to promote yourself. You gotta put yourself out there more. You have to, um, like, you have to engage more. Like, you really have to, you know, you don't have no support and stuff like that. And, like, you really have to push yourself and promote yourself every single day, all day, nonstop, y'all. It, it does not stop at all. So, to me... That's, I see why, you know, when, you know, when the YouTubers get to a certain extent and, you know, they're making a good amount of money, they do YouTube full-time because it's like a full-time job, you guys. Like, what I was going through, um, just doing this 30-day vlogathon and promoting myself being a small YouTuber, small YouTuber, um, yes, I have content on my page now. Me posting every day, you guys, was very beneficial to me, um... I started out with like, I think like it was 1.8, 1.8K subscribers, you guys. So now I'm at 1.9, I'm at 1.97 something subscribers. So I got almost 200 subscribers for my 30 day vlogathon. Um, how did I promote myself? I promoted myself on my um, Facebook page and the Facebook groups, you guys on Facebook is very beneficial. You know, there's a lot of YouTubers, small YouTubers, you know, black YouTubers. Um, it's so, it's like, it's a lot. You can find a lot of groups on Facebook groups where you can um, share your content, promote your content. And that's exactly what I was doing every day, all day. I was all up under everybody posts, like subscribe to my channel, new vlog out. Subscribe to my channel, new vlog out. Hey, have you tuned in yet? Hey, subscribe to my channel. Y'all, I was getting on people nerves. I got blocked. I got cussed out. I got kicked out of groups, y'all. Like I got restricted so many times, y'all. Facebook restricted me for like two hours, like for two hours, I want to say like 10 times, like I got like spammed because y'all, I was really like pushing myself, all of the reels that they have on Facebook, because you know they have reels on Facebook now, y'all, I was under each and every reel, just commenting my, comment, promoting my content and I was just getting so much, you know, I won't say backlash, but I was just getting so much of stop coming under my stuff and stop doing this and stop doing that and leave, getting kicked out of groups and getting restricted from Facebook from posting so much. Like, and you know what threw me, you guys, because I was always active because I'm not very active on my personal Facebook page. Like, I post pictures just as much, the just the same that I post my pictures on Instagram. I use facebook for the same thing you know i barely you know make statuses I, I barely do that so when i create content for instagram i share it on my facebook page as well and um as i've been getting so much engagement from my youtube channel i'm starting more to um be active more on my actual profile like making statuses and stuff um because the same content that's on my instagram page is on my facebook page so i'm like i just started recently making little statuses here and there and um, it's so crazy because I was restricted so much. I got kicked out of so many groups and on my Facebook page, I am a top 1% rising creator, y'all. I got spam, bam, restricted, locked out, kicked out so many times just from Facebook alone, you guys, and still received top rising creator 
every week and that is something that they do every week um they analyze like your content and stuff like your act being active and stuff like that because my facebook page is monetized you guys send me some stars mm -mm -mm. but um yeah like so i really was making it my i really was making it my business to you know promote my content like i really want to be that i really want to so all of my engagement and my subscribers came from facebook alone um when i take my pictures and do my little thing on instagram yes i have my youtube channel in my bio on instagram and when i post a picture i hashtag small youtubers youtube youtubers like i make sure my hashtags have everything to do with youtube i've got so many dms from a lot of um small youtubers as well and um i got i promote you know my youtube channel from there you know they'll go check it out without me having to dm like you know hey i'm a youtuber like all of that it's 2023 we're not doing that you know the link in bio baby the link is in the bio okay and if you came from facebook and i had a lot of people like coming straight from facebook and finding all my socials my snapchat my um tiktok everything and i was seeing the same people on, on different on my different um social media platforms and i was like okay no dms no nothing okay so i actually seen people um subscribing to me adding me following me and i was just like okay i'm starting to see the benefits of my labor like i planted that seed and now it's actually growing and i was like super excited for that so that's another thing that motivated me to continue to keep going on when i got in my little feels and my little moves where like listen sometime i ain't doing this today like oh i ain't you know what i'm saying when i get in my little moves i just go look at my stats and then you know i hop on one of my social media platforms and i see so many dms and i see different people um, follow me on all my um, social media platforms. So I was like, okay, I'm actually getting somewhere with this. Even though it's not viral, it's not extensive, but a little, you know, a little goes a long way, you know. So you have to start from somewhere. And I'm making this video to let you guys know it is possible. It's worth it. It's possible. And it can happen because it's happening for me right now. And um, after my 30 days, I had to take a little break. I had to regroup, y'all, because I was like, thank God for the 30th day. I was supposed to make a vlog on the 31st for it to be up to let you guys know that the vlog and stuff. I was like, nah, uh-uh. I said a 30-day vlog, so that's that's what they're going to get for now. I need a break. So I had to regroup. And as you guys know, I'm a mother, you know, and um, I have a personal life, too, so recording vlogging editing every single day throughout the day was also challenging for me but i got it done you know what i'm saying no excuses no blaming no pointing a finger no nothing i got it done once when i say i'm gonna do something i do it you know what i'm saying so you gotta have that mindset you have to have those intentions you know and i'm that person like i have to stand on what i say and i have to do what i'm gonna say that i'm gonna do you know what i'm saying so I'm just so grateful and thankful for myself for that. I got to give myself my props, give myself credit because I've been putting in the work and I've just been like, y'all would not understand. Like so many people is so tired of me. <laughs> like I really got on a lot of people's nerves and you know, it, it also played in my favor as well because I also got gained subscribers and I also, you know, met a lot of new amazing um youtubers as well and um yeah you guys it all worked in my favor so all i gotta do is keep going keep it pushing will i do another 30 day vlogathon no i will not i'm telling y'all right now so i won't say that i'm back on my um uploading two to three two to three times once a week schedule for right now i'm gonna regroup readjust refocus put something in motion and just go from there you guys um but right now i have to do what i have to do to stay relevant create more shorts and um yeah and another thing you guys on my um analytics analytics however you say this word y'all um a lot of people were subscribing and watching my vlogs for my shorts like the algorithm is very funny like on on 
um, YouTube. Like some of my um, shorts will take off. I'll get 2K, 1.5K, 9.3K, and then like I'll get 2K one day, and then the next day I post another short and just get like 200 and something or 300 and something. So I'm like, what's the difference? from yesterday today so I really like I like go through my shorts and see like one day I got 1.5 the next day I got like 393 like I try to like go back and see what hashtags that I use or what did I say or the clips that I put in to see like what's going on and I know it wasn't me because I've been vlogging every single day so I know um YouTube the algorithm is pushing me because I'm posting every single day at a specific time so it's like I just think, you know, by me being a small YouTuber, I'm gonna have to do um, not just enough, I'm gonna have to do more than enough to get myself out there more, if that makes sense. Um, Cause I really don't fully understand the algorithm yet, but that's something for another day. I'm still learning, I'm still, you know, in my, I've been doing YouTube since August, 2020 like i've been doing it for a couple of years now but like i said i was very inconsistent very 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 so i i gotta get you know everything adjusted and stuff like that y'all but um out of this entire experience y'all it's been amazing for me i'm grateful and thankful for all the new subscribers thank you so much to everyone that subscribed to my channel thank you so much to everyone that um watched my vlogs everyone that engaged in my vlogs everyone that followed me on all my social media platforms you guys i'm so grateful and thankful for you guys um I'm gonna start doing shout outs, you guys. I'm gonna start doing shout outs. I'm gonna let you guys know more about that a little later, but I'm gonna start doing shout outs and giveaways and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so we can like help y'all can help me, you know, expand, you guys, especially for you know, it's very hard for us because you know, we you there's different lanes, you know what I'm saying? So you, we have to stay in our own lane, but it's being I won't say oversaturated, it'd be it's being overcrowded by, you know, and not only that, like the society standards, you know, if you're not up to standards, if your hair not a certain texture, if your skin not a certain color, like you know, y'all know what I'm trying to say. You know what I'm saying? So we're gonna have to work like ten times harder, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it is what it is. It is not a race, you guys. This is a marathon. It's not what you, it's not how you get there. It's what you do to get there. It's about the journey, you guys. So I'm on this journey just as well as you guys. And um, this is just a little update on my journey. And another thing I want to say, this is another thing that I want to talk about too. So when I go to promote, like, I want to talk about like, when I go to promote my, um, my content you guys please stay away for the sub for sub and if you don't know what that means y'all stay away from the subscribe for subscribe like people don't understand that um youtube pick up on that type of stuff youtube not only pick up on that type of stuff it's like that's not an equal give and take you know what i'm saying because it's like i know for a fact like I'm not, I'm not trying to toot my own horn and stuff like that, but I know for a fact I'm not the best at the quality. I'm not the best at the versatility of the editing and stuff like that, but I do provide quality content. You know what I'm saying? So if I'm promoting my stuff and it's like, you know, it's like, oh, subscribe for subscribe. I try to stay away from that. So that's why when I go to promote my things on my social media platforms, I just put it out there and I just push it, push it, like throw it in your face type. You know what I'm saying? I don't go asking for subscriptions. I don't go asking for watch hours and watch time. Like I don't, you know, I don't, I stay far away from that because it's like, and it's like, it's not... It's just not my thing. It, like, it is not my thing because I feel like, you know, I'm to be, and I'm being brutally honest, I'm not about to go subscribe to something that don't interest me at all. The quality is low and it just, you know, I'm not going to subscribe to a channel 
that I have no interest in and the quality is low. Like, I don't know what else to say. Like, if, um, like, if I go to, like, people hit me up all the time and once I'm promoting, they comment on the, all my posts, be like, oh, sub for sub, sub, and inbox me and messenger me, sub, sub for sub, 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 and it's like, no, like, I don't respond sometimes, but sometimes I do respond because I be seeing, like, everyone's putting the same effort in as me. They post every day and have different content, and then the thumbnails what be catching my eye. So I'm like, let me go check this person out. Like, I do answer some of my DMs and messengers um, when people be sending me, and so I go check out their page, and I'll go see... And I'm like, you know, they be already, oh, hi, I'm subscribed and stuff already. And they be sending proof and stuff like that. And I just be checking out their videos. And I just be like, you know, I understand. I get it. We're, we're, we're trying to get somewhere. But it's like, this ain't it, babe. It's not it. Like, it, it, it's just not it. It's it, For me, it's not it. You know, I can't speak for everybody else. But I understand, like, it's, you know... Um, be considerate and be generous of people's time and efforts and stuff like that. So if someone do something for you, you got to return a favor and stuff like that. No, you don't. No, you don't. Especially when you're not asking for it, especially when you're not looking for it. And especially if that's something that you don't do. You know what I'm saying? And people don't understand that. Like I had to block. I had to hide so many comments. I had to restrict so many people from my page because it's like everybody was sub for sub for sub for sub and it's like no ma'am no sir if the quality is low and I'm not interested in it's not giving what it's supposed to give like if it's not catching my eye if it's not you know and I don't have short attention span so I pay attention to every little thing so it's like I'm gonna be nice and leave a comment. I'll like the video, you know what I'm saying? But subscribing, that's tough. So I got to a point where I was almost over 2K subscribers, but it was only from the people that wanted to do sub for sub. So they had be done already subscribed to my channel. And then the next few days, like that next following day or two days later, like I'll see my 2K goal went down. And I was like, those are the so the sub for sub people. So you gotta watch out for that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because people be like, oh, I'm gonna do it for you, so you should do it for me. But it don't work like that, babes. I, it, it just don't. It, it really don't. So um, besides that, you guys, besides the fact, I just, that's my little advice to you guys. Like, please stay away from the subscribe for subscribes and a like for likes and a follow for follows. Like, you guys, I cannot stress this enough. Like, it's not, that's not where it's at. You know, you want to grow organically. You want people really engaging with your content. Like you want real authentic, organic people, real fan base, real subscribers that's very interested in you and what you got to provide and put out to the world. You know what I'm saying? That's what I want. Like, I don't want nobody only here subscribe to my channel that's just want me to subscribe back you know that only watch that just with that one video for like a minute or two and be like hey i'm subscribed i'm being a subscriber and then when i post something else the next day you don't view it like you know i don't want that type of energy i don't want that type of subscribers here you guys that's not that's not what i want here that's not what i do and i can't stress that enough you guys so um yeah that's it for this video i will um be updating you guys on the shout outs and the giveaways um which is soon to come i had just to come but i just had to come and provide you guys with this video this little update and yeah you guys i'm so grateful and thankful for everyone that stuck around i'm grateful and thankful for everyone that enjoys my content that engage with me because i'm not stuck up at all you guys i love engaging with you guys i love engaging with you guys okay so you guys, that's it for this video. And I'm gonna, this is a wrap. I'll wrap this up, y'all. So um, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Thank you for watching. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and follow me on all my social media platforms. They are in the description box below. Don't be afraid to hit me up because I do talk back, you know what I'm saying? But don't be hitting me up talking about no strap, crap. You know, like, you know? Don't, don't do that, because then I might just leave you on red or don't even open a message. I don't know that. But for real, you guys, um, 
If you like this video, leave a like and a comment down below. Share this video, tell a friend and tell a friend. And catch me in my next one. Make sure your post notification bell is on so you'll be notified every single time that I upload, you guys. Bye, you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video.